hello guys how are you doing today welcome to my channel so today we're going to discuss the british work visa kind of its application process um its requirement the kind of documents you need okay so the uk is not only a famous destination for its educational institutions and tourist destinations it is also an ideal place to work and people tend to move to the uk sorry to work um, because of its developed economy and better working conditions. So people move to the UK to work because of its developed economy, better working conditions, high salary, you know, compared to so many countries in the world. Okay, so it is desirable. People find it desirable to move to the UK to work. If you're, if you're a non-UK citizen and you desire to move to the UK to work, then you need a work visa. I know that there are some countries... Um, that don't need visa to kind of travel to the UK. Countries like Australia, Canada, Japan, the US, the EEA. EEA uh, means the European Economic Area, made up of European countries, okay? I, I think there are about 30, 30 of them. So they don't need a uh, visa to enter the UK, okay? And they can stay up to six months, okay? But then they need a UK work visa, that is after the initiation or the conclusion of the pre Brexit, you know, so they need a UK uh, work visa. So um, this content is not just for Africans, not just for Asians, it is also for Americans, um, Australians, Canadians, Europeans, etc., Japanese. So if you want to go to the UK to work, you need to know the kind of visa, the kind of work visa you need, all right? And this depends. This is dependent on your qualification and the type of job. All right. So, guys, if you haven't subscribed, kindly hit the subscribe button. Um, this is the Promise Breno channel, and I'm changing lives. You might just be the next life that I'm gonna change. Now, I drop content, you know, um, about moving abroad. Whether you want to go to the UK, to Canada, to United States, to Europe, you know, and so on. Okay, there are contents here for you and ensure that you stay glued to this channel by hitting, hitting the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I drop content so that you don't miss out on any of our content, okay? Whether you need, um, if you need help in making your CV, I've made a content on that, European Standard CV. If you need help in drafting a letter of motivation, I've made content on that, all right? So you need this kind of um, videos or you need to know how to make a CV and letter of motivation. You need them because with them, you'll be able to find um, you know, to, uh, you'll be able to attract the right, the right kind of job that you 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 desire. Okay, all right. So uh, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk about uh, the UK kind of uh, the types of UK work visas in 2023 based on this article. All right. So um, before I, I proceed, please smash the like button on this video if you haven't. Okay. Thank you so much. Now. The work visas in the UK are divided into two main categories. So we have the long term and the short term. Now with the, with the long term uh, visa, you can stay and work in the UK for three to five years. While with a short term visa, you can work in the UK for six to uh, 12 months. <clears throat> Most long term visas are renewable indefinitely. So, so long as you keep meeting the eligibility requirements, the long and short term visas are further divided into several types. Okay, <clears throat> now what are the types of the British long term work visa? Number one, international sportsman visa. Okay, and it is for distinguished sport persons or expert coaches. This visa will help them develop their sportsmanship in the UK. So, sorry, um, if you look at these international players like you know Ronaldo and the rest. So these are the kind of visas that they tend to apply for. You know, um, I remember me me being an Arsenal fan. I remember uh, I think Arsenal signed a player, and the player didn't come immediately. They were like, um, I heard that the person was still waiting, or you, the person was denied a work visa or something like that. Hence, the person had to play in another country on loan or something like that until they get, or uh, until the work visa is approved or until they get it finally. Okay, so. Um, now we have the second type of British long-term visas are the health worker visa. Now this is for doctors, for nurses, for certified adult care professionals who want to work 
with the British NHS. You know, um, I realized that UK provide a lot of um, healthcare workers to foreigners and, you know, people are getting those jobs, you know. So I even made content about that. Um, yeah, I made content about healthcare workers, I mean, healthcare kind of jobs in the UK. So now, um, another kind of uh, long UK or British long-term visa uh, is the specialist senior uh, worker visa. And this is for certain specialist workers who have worked outside um, the UK for at least 12 months. So this visa allows them to travel in the UK with um, the utmost ease. Now, another type of UK long-term visa is the is the British or, or I mean, is the Ministry of Religion visa, okay? Now, this is issued to people who have gotten a job within a religion, a religious organization, such as member of the clergy, all right? So, for example, there's Methodist, and probably um, if a pastor from Nigeria, a Methodist pastor from Nigeria, will, uh, you know, is um, being transferred to the UK to work, I mean, sorry, to kind of uh, be a pastor in the UK, like to be transferred to the branch in the UK. So um, the person would need to apply for this kind of visa, which is the Ministry of Religion visa. So also like, also, I think this can be also applicable to Muslims, you know, and other religion. So, you know, it depends which one is, um, which one is required or which one. So now the next type of long-term visa is a skilled worker visa. And this is for workers who have sportsmanship from a British company, okay? They should be paid a minimum salary, uh, which would depend upon the type of job that they do, okay? So um, yes, we have the skilled worker visa. So essentially you have to get a job, you know, um, a skilled job, and you know, this, this is the type of visa you're gonna apply for. Then another type of long-term visa you, you're gonna apply for is the scale up worker visa. I've made the I've made a video on this, the scale up worker visa. Yes. Um after watching this content, please go to my channel and ch check it out. Okay. So check it out on and you'll see how you can apply for it because um I think I dropped the link in the description. So uh, so if you want to know more about it, check it out after watching this content. Now it is given to individuals to take up certain jobs in the UK for rapidly growing UK based businesses. Um, the employer in the UK must meet the eligibility requirements to apply for a scale-up um, workers visa or for to apply for, for scale-up workers. Now we've discussed the long-term visas. Now let's discuss the short um, the short-term British work visa. The first one is the charity worker visa, and this is a temporary form of visa issued to individuals who intend to take up voluntary or charity work in the UK. Okay, so the work is undertaken or the work undertaken would be unpaid. Okay, so it has to be described that the work that you're going to be doing in the UK will be unpaid. So this is when you can apply for this charity worker visa. And the next one is the international agreement visa, which is for persons who are working in a, in, in a position that is covered by any international law, like, like members of a consulate or diplomat. Diplomats, okay? Okay, so um, like, uh, for example, probably those working in the embassy and so on, I think they can apply to this one because it says a uh, member of a consulate or diplomats. Now, next one is the religious worker visa. So I talked about a religious worker visa here. So there's another one here, okay? So this one is a temporary visa offered for religious and non-pastoral work, okay? With this visa, individuals can stay in the UK for up to 24 months. Now, next, another one is the graduate visa. This is for students who want to work in the UK post their study programs. This visa is given for a maximum of two years and is renewable. Okay, this is self-explanatory. The next kind of visa, short-term visa, is the seasonal worker visa. And this is for workers who work during a particular season, like harvesting, farm picking, uh, truck driving, etc. So uh, they could be seasonal worker, I mean seasonal jobs in the UK that you know they want people to work in their farm, those kind of jobs. So this is the kind of visa you're going to apply for. Now, next kind of short-term visa is the Youth Mobility Scheme visa, which is given to young individuals 
between the ages 18 to 30 who have the nationality of one of the listed countries and want to live and work in the UK. The visa validity is two years. So now next kind of short-term visa is the graduate trainee visa. And this is for those British companies that have their um, operations expanded overseas who want to train graduates in order to prepare them for British job market. Now, um, these companies, like let's say, um, for example, Shell, okay, Shell has its branch in Nigeria, okay? So um, let's say the graduates from Nigeria who, or, or maybe university students who kind of wants to, did a, who wants to do an internship in the UK under Shell, okay? So they can be able to apply for this one, for this kind of visa to, you know, or maybe they just graduated and they want to, you know, do some internship or just training, traineeship, then they can go to the UK through this kind of visa. Then a creative worker visa, which is given to people in the creative fields like performing arts, painting, writing, etc. Now, some other types of uh, work visas are global talent visa, startup visas, and innovative visas. Most foreign nationals who have gotten a job offer in the UK apply for the skilled worker visa or most individuals qualify for this type of visa. So this skilled worker visa is mostly uh, it's mostly kind of uh, more popular, you know, because pe most people apply for it or are eligible for it. Now, what are the eligibility criteria, you know, for a UK work for UK work visas? Now, the Home Office of the UK has now introduced a point-based immigration system to attract and invite only the most skillful talent in the UK. You are eligible to apply for your desired UK work visa if you score a minimum number of points set for that particular type of visa. The points are based on your job type, salary level, sportsmanship offer, educational qualifications, language skills, and whether or not your profession is in demand in the UK. For example, there's a high demand for healthcare workers in the UK, so the healthcare worker visa is the easiest to get if you are a licensed medical professional. So if you're a licensed medical professional looking at me right now, um, I want you to take note of this, okay? So it is possible for you to move to the UK because it is, um, it is kind of like the easiest to get Okay, based on this article and also those kind of jobs, I believe that they are the, one of the easiest to get, especially if you're qualified. If you're qualified nurse, the medical doctor, health professional, aid, you know, you, you have a, a certificate in the medical field, all right? Guys, before I proceed and go to the process, um, if you haven't subscribed, kindly hit that subscribe button, okay? Kindly, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I drop content. And if this content is beneficial, and you're getting something out of it, please ensure you like this video, all right? Thank you very much. Um, so now what are the process or what is the process? You can apply online for your desired work visa or through one of the UK visa uh, application centers in your home country. Submit all the required documents along uh, with the uh, visa application. You can apply online for the visa, but for the biometric verification, you will need to visit the application center. Now, the UK uh, visa process is like kind of like, first of all, you need to find out if you need a UK visa, as I said earlier, okay? Um, it is evident that everybody needs a UK visa if you're not a UK citizen or a British citizen, all right? Whether you can travel to the UK without a visa, if you want to work in the UK, you need a UK work visa. So everybody needs a UK work visa, all UK non-citizens, needs a UK work visa. That's what I meant. I mean, all right. So now next step is that you need to choose the right UK uh, visa type. I've mentioned I've mentioned the visa types already. So you choose the one that is applicable to uh, what you've got in your offer. Then the next, um, the next is complete the online application form. Okay. So you have to go online and complete it. Then the next is uh, you need to collect the um, re required documents for UK non for a UK visa application. Then the next is that you have to schedule a UK appointment or UK visa appointment. Then attend the UK visa interview. So um, even though you can um, initiate your application online, you still need to visit the application center. Probably if you can apply through VFS Global, it remains to be seen. Okay, so you need to make inquiries as to which center you can apply. 
or if you can go to the British Embassy directly. So you need to make inquiry. This now depends on the country where you are. Okay, that's what I'm saying. This it depends on the, on the country where you are. Okay, so you need to find out uh, what works best for your country of residence or for your country of nationality. All right. So UK work visa application. Uh, how long does it does the does the process take? How long does it take? You can apply for the UK uh, work visa three months before your intended travel date, and not before that. So if you if you're planning to travel to the UK in three months time, make sure you start. You may start now. The application, uh, the applications usually take three to eleven months to process, depending on the types of visas that you apply to. So the workload of the visa application center and which uh, country you are from. Okay, it depends on the workload they have at the moment, the visa, the uh, number of visa applications they have at the moment. So this is how um it's going to take this um three to eleven weeks. Okay, okay, now. What are the required documents for a UK work visa? Now, here are the list of documents you need to submit along with the visa application. So the first is a sponsorship letter from the British employer, okay? Then the next is a valid passport. The next is the details of your salary. This should uh, meet the minimum salary requirement for your job type or profession. If, you, if your paid salary falls below the eligibility criteria, you won't be eligible to apply for a work visa. The next is English language proficiency scores. So you need to find out which one you need to take. You need to take an IELTS or TOEFL. You need to find out. And also, you need to find out uh, what are the scores that you need for the particular kind of visa that you, you are applying for. Okay? You need to find out all these things. And also, you, you can ask your employer to help you find out these things. Okay? Um, I believe that every employer, most employers in established companies, they have HR. And the HR should be able to help you out, you know, to know the kind of exam, English exam you need and the score. And also it can help you to know whether you need an English exam or not. Like people from the um from Australia, from Canada, from the United States, I don't think they need English exam. Okay. So um you need to find out all these things. Now you also need a medical certificate indicating that you are in good health. You also need the name of the sponsor. Or employer and his or her license number so it's important because they just need to enter the license number somewhere and once they enter it they'll be able to know if this person is a licensed um, employer in the uk and is eligible to employ people to the uk or not all right it's important you also need a police certificate indicating a clean criminal record for uh, certain types of jobs only Okay, so you need to find out this. Um, in Nigeria, they call it police report. Okay, or, or I think in some countries they call it criminal record, criminal certificate. So you need to get this. You just need to go to the police station um, in your country and they can direct you. Either they issue you the document or they can direct you. For example, when I was in Turkey, um, I went to the police station and they directed me to, uh, to a court, you know, and I went to the court and the court gave it to me. All right, so you need to find out where you can get this in your country. All right, then another thing you need is uh, the job title and occupation code. Okay, then uh, you need you also need financial bank statement, financial or bank statement as proof of your savings. So it depends on what you're going to do. Um, maybe for job types you wouldn't need a bank statement because uh, your employer is already going to be showing that they're going to be paying you this amount of money as salary. You know. So, but you need to find out if you need this or not, okay? Um, you need to make all this research. Then um, another thing you need is uh, proof of investment funds. Then um, the test result of tuberculosis, if you belong to countries where you have to take the test to apply for British work visa. Then you also need a valid photo ID, okay? You need a valid photo ID. So guys, um, that'll be it about this content. Um, I just want to categorically state here that uh, I am not an immigration um, agent, okay? I am not a UK immigration agent. So um, some of you, will, because I know that some of you will start writing me after this content, um, you know, to kind of, uh, uh, you know, asking me questions that are related to immigration or, you know, telling me to apply for a UK visa for you. Okay, so I am not an immigration agent and I am not uh, a UK visa expert. 
um, I simply came across this article and I thought it um, um, I thought it wise to share it with you to open up because a lot of people don't have access to information. That's what I understand. So um, somebody might just be in need of this um, information right now, and you know, and it can help the person. So so guys, that does this does not exempt the fact that you need to make your own research. Okay, you need to verify some of the things I'm saying here and make your research. This is mainly as an eye opener to help you to take action and to help you to move abroad. Okay, all right. So that will be it about this content. Um, smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And uh, please don't forget to hit the notification bell in order to be notified. And also, um, you can check out this content. You can check out other content on my channel. All right. So guys, uh, till I come away again. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.